Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Banished. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing some things that we probably should have done quite a while ago, and that is making ourselves a ring of magnetization from Botania, and a sojourner's sash, hopefully, from Botania as well. So let's start with the ring of magnetization. It's actually pretty easy to make, you just got to make a mana lens, and that's just four mana steel ingots with a glass pane in the middle and then a gold and iron one to make the mana leads magnetizing and you can just do that and there we go we now have a ring of magnetization so we can put that in the baubles menu and i don't actually have my mana ring on me at the moment but that's fine so that's that one the next thing I want to make is this, the Sojourner's Sash, and I need a Rune of Earth, a Rune of Air, one Mana Steel Ingot, and four Leather. So, I should already have all of that. Let's put that here. And I should have a Rune of Air and a Rune of Earth. I hear crazy bad noises. I don't know what they are, but it worries me a little bit. Just a little bit, just out of curiosity. No? Is this, is this not a thing? Do I have to? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll figure that out in a minute. Let's go ahead and make this. Oh, you know what? I forgot to make the Man of Steel ingot. Probably should have done that. There we go. Mana Steel Ingot. And now we should be able to make it. There we go. So now we have the Sojourner's Sash as well. And I will probably want to fill up my mana or my band of mana with mana. So let's just make sure... Oh, I hear a phantom. Come at me, bro. There you are. Oh, he got me. Messing up my stuff. So we want this to go like that. And then I'm going to throw that right there. And that should fill up with mana. So that we can use our Sojourner's Sash and all that other good stuff. The Sojourner's Sash will allow you to run faster. And it will also give you step assist. And it will allow you to jump two blocks instead of just one. So it's a very helpful little thing for getting around, especially since flight is not something that I have the ability to achieve right at the moment. So I think this thing is full now. Looks like it. Let's go ahead and equip that. And then we can change you back. And you should be good. So let's just check on these. How's our mana pool doing? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. The next thing that I want to make is called a Tiger Eye. And this will essentially prevent creepers from exploding and coming near you. Now, I'm going to need some oak leaves. I'm going to need a rune of air and a rune of fire, but I've got all of that. The only thing that I don't have right now is the oak leaves. However, that will not be difficult to get at all. So let's just make a shears. Let's grab you. And where's my spell book? There it is. I need my grow spell. And we'll just come out. Oh, hello, Chupacabra. Go away. Leave me alone. I'm trying to record a video here. Can't you see that? Huh. Might as well go ahead and claim these in case they decide to pop back up. So we'll just put that there. Grow. Not not, not going to grow there, huh? Okay. Okay. If you insist, we'll find a better place. We'll find a better place indeed. Hmm. I do like how much faster you move around, though, when you're doing this. Uh, I don't think that's going to work either. You know what? There might be space in our Botania room. Maybe. No, I don't think there's enough overhead space there. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm going to have to... 
I need that. And I don't need you to be bothering me right now. Those phantoms. They will get you, I say. Man. Well, I suppose I'm going to need a room for gardens and farms and stuff like that anyway. I'm really surprised it can't grow here. I feel like it should be able to grow here. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess not. So, let's switch this to our mining beam. And this is where I want the farms to be. So, what we're going to do is we're going to knock out some ceiling space. And apparently I need to go higher than that. So we'll go up to maybe there. Like this. And that should provide adequate space for us. <laughs> now let's see. I need... Let's just grab one. And, let's just grab this dirt right here. And we'll put you down right there, I guess. And let's try this again. Oh, there we go. Okay. So then we'll shear that. Get those leaves. And the ring of magnetization. Man, that thing is awesome. So useful. Okay. So that's a pretty good start. I'm just going to light this up a little bit. And I'll worry about the farms and stuff later. So now I should have everything I need to make the Rune of Autumn. So let me do a little bit of inventory management here, guys. And I'll be right back with you. All right, guys. I am back. And I think I have everything ready and good to go. So let's just go ahead and feed the endo flames. Fe feed the... You should... These should all be good. Why you no eat... All right, I will take off my rig of magnetization for a moment. Oh, 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 not a good time. Let's try that again. There we go. There we go, now it's going. Okay, so, anyway. Let's go ahead and equip that. Now, to make the Rune of Autumn, I need... You to be like that. You to be there. That should be good. And then we'll need this. We need a fire and an air rune. So one fire, one air. And everything else we have. So we'll go one, two, three oak leaves. We'll go a spider eye a fire rune, an air rune, and then right click it, and that should start making the Ring of Autumn. Then I'll get my living rock ready. I really need to make some more living rock. I seem to be running out of it. Hmm. Well, I'm waiting on that. Why don't I actually go do that? I'm just gonna come on over here, and I'll just grab a couple stacks of cobble. And we'll start uh, cooking those up like so. There we go. Okay, so there's that. And this should be good now. Yep, looks good. We'll throw that on there and right click. And there we go, our Rune of Autumn. So now we need a brown and an orange mana petal. That's pretty straightforward. So... Orange and brown. I should check. Do I have any of those in here? No, I don't. Okay, that's fine. So we'll need one of you and one of you. There we go. Anything else? A lime and a yellow. Uh, neither of which I have. Okay, we'll make a lime. 
and a yellow. There we go. So, let's grab our seeds. Let's clear this stuff out. We need a brown, an orange, a lime, and a yellow. And that should be everything right there. Oh, and the Rune of Autumn, of course. So, we're just going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Whew. Almost threw that out of order on accident. Let's refill that. Grab my spell book. And refill that. There we go. And now we have a tiger's eye. So, if I put that, like, right here, that should prevent any creepers from coming in here and messing up my botania room, which is good, because that's kind of something that I'm a little bit of afraid, uh, a little bit afraid of, I will admit. Um, botania stuff is obviously pretty fragile, so, yeah. Um, I'm also reconsidering this Ring of Magnetization because I just realized that with the Aura Cascade mechanics, it's going to pick stuff up every time. Uh, so why don't we shelve that just for now and maybe I'll use it uh, once I actually like go caving or something like that. Maybe I'll start using it then. So let's go into our quest book and let's just see if that Botania stuff now allows us did that open any doors for us no no it, it really didn't that's okay though okay well i do want to make this the agricarnation that is essentially going to be a flower that makes crops grow faster so let's see what we need for that we need a rune of spring redstone root okay that's actually all pretty easy um the rune of spring might take a little bit of doing but I should have everything I need for uh was it yeah water and fire okay so yeah I should be okay um okay so uh let's see water fire and then what else did it need three saplings and a piece of wheat okay so that should all be in this chest right here. One, two, three, and a piece of wheat. And we'll go, there we go. Right click with that. And that should get going here. Now I will need you. And then what do we need? We need a green mana petal. So I'll go ahead and make that. We're going to need a lime mana petal. So we'll make one of those. There we go. And, uh, two normal lime petals and then a yellow and a red. Uh, oh, wait. Was it a red mana? Yeah, red mana petal. So we'll throw you in there. I also need one of those redstone root things. I forget what it's called. Uh, but it's just grass and redstone in a crafting window like that. Yeah, redstone root it's called. So I'll need a little bit of that as well. This thing should be done. So if we toss living rock on there and right click, that gives us everything we need. And now we just got to clear the space. So, I need you, I need you, I need all of you, I need that. Am I missing anything? Da, 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 da. Nope, looks good to me. So, we're going to go one, two, three. What did I miss? I missed something. A lime, a green, a red. 
Now, wait a minute. A green mana petal, a lime mana petal. I see both of those floating around in there. Oh, the redstone root. There we go. I was wondering what I was doing wrong there. There. <laughs> oh, the derps are real. That's okay. There we go. So that gives us the Agra Carnation. And that should give us now 64 bone meal and 10 floral fertilizer as a quest reward. So that's always good. Um, what else do we need here? Not really a whole lot that we need. Actually, the Rod of the Land would be really helpful. That will basically allow you to summon dirt. <laughs> It'll just give you an infinite supply of dirt as long as you have mana. So, Pixie Dust. How does one get Pixie Dust? Rod of the Lands. Oh, here we go. Rod of the Land. Oh, that's actually really easy to make. A living wood twig, a rune of earth, and a piece of dirt. Okay. I could actually make that right now. I don't even need the, uh, I don't even need to do any, like, crazy altar infusion or anything. It's just a piece of cake. So that was dirt, twig, earth, bam, rot of the lands. And check this out. If I right-click, it places a block of dirt. So that'll make, uh, turning all of this into farmland a lot easier. But I think we are pretty much out of time for this episode. We got all sorts of goodies from Botania today. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.